Hello and welcome back. In this section of SAP Cloud Platform Professional Development, we will be understanding about why the use of Cloud Foundry is required and we will go inside the story of side-by-side -side extension application. We will see some of the example scenario and use cases. Then we will try to understand what are the options available to us as a developer to use for our side-by-side -side extension application. We can use either Cloud Foundry or Neo and we will try to understand the difference between Cloud Foundry and Neo. Then we will go and look into the CLI for Neo. The CLI for Neo is not covered in the previous section. So we will try to download the CLI for Neo. And by using this new CLI, we will log in into our account and try to see what are the build pack available with Neo account. Then we will go and understand the overall architecture for SAP Cloud Platform and we will see how an on-premise system fits into the equation, how S4 HANA Cloud system fit into the equation and how the IDP server which is the identity provider server works. Then we are going to go through one use case where we have one application running in Cloud Foundry and we will learn and understand the inner working step for this application. After that we will look into how from a user account point of view SAP Cloud Platform is presented to us. We are going to see how the global account, sub account and spaces are used, what is their usage and how you will find the setup in other Cloud Foundry provider like Pivotal as well. At the end we are going to carry out hands on step to set up our SAP Cloud Platform account for our Cloud Foundry. So join this must to understand section on SAP Cloud Platform Architecture Overview and Hands-on Account Setup section. This course is highly recommended for future developers, architect, designers and managers who are going to work with SAP Cloud Foundry. So with that, my name is Ajanayak and I'm going to see you in this course.